Well, my name is Ian Towers. I'm a graduate student from this university, Staffordshire University. Um, I studied here, I, I think I started studying here about six years ago, studying game design degree. Uh, I tried to go for a master's, but unfortunately didn't make it. But um, since then, I've been basically applying and trying to get into the games industry whilst working retail for a few years, uh, well, for a year. Um, I'm most passionate about design. Um, I'm very interested in level design and overall games design, and a little bit, a little bit into production as well. And ideally, I want to start getting a QA job as soon as I can, and that's that's what I'm mainly doing at the moment with my degree. Well, I don't know if anyone else feels the same way, but Global Games Jam has always meant to me. Um, if I sidetrack for a second, when you spend so long by yourself trying to hone your skills and you, and you spend ages working and working and working and trying to self-improve and get better for the industry you start to become very critical of yourself and I think everybody feels it everybody feels that pressure and people start to really really stop themselves and stop themselves moving forward by literally saying oh I, I shouldn't I shouldn't attempt it I can't attempt it I can't I can't achieve enough in the time that I have Games Jam for me reminds me that being by the right people and being at the right place with everyone spinning so many ideas and the idea of not caring if you fail at something you know if something's bad you throw it out you just carry on you've got 48 hours you you have to get it done the best part about games jam for me is the fact that it reminds me that i can do it i can i can be a part of this team and it's all about who you're with it's all about communicating with people and if you can do that and you can apply your skills to that then it just all comes together and it makes you feel so good it, every year that's what keep, makes me keep coming back for almost five years I've been coming back the main reason I always come back is because it, it's always a helpful reminder that you can achieve with what you have even even like say like design you usually get the idea that oh you can't contribute to anything you can't physically create something on the screen maybe you can work with a front end like Unreal Engine 4 and you know, create a level but you you get doubts that you know you're not really creating anything you're using other people's assets or you're using other people's programming but like it reminds me that I can really achieve I can really I'm, I'm, I can help these people like bring their ideas together and help create a level and be, be a contributor to a grand design and that's why I keep coming back because it it reminds me that I do have skills it reminds me that I can apply them and that I can achieve everyone else is going well we have an idea set we're creating like a procedurally generated game where it's it we're, we're using Unreal Engine 4 to and, a, and an algorithm to procedurally generate levels that have certain puzzles in them um, but it's going well so far we've got we've got a mood board up we've got we've got designs flowing uh, people are throwing ideas back and forth we've already had someone leave for the night so <laughs> we've already got people ducking out you know they're trying to run away while they still can no, but it's overall I think it's going well and the best part is is like most of the other game jams I've been to before I, I always come back with like a similar team the same team um, and we came up with like we've started to hone our our creative thinking into more more uh, targeted ideas and uh, we've you know we come up with three ideas and if they're too big we just throw them out straight away we just go with a targeted idea something small that is achievable and then expandable because then the best thing is is if if you get if it takes 24 hours to do 12 hours of work you still achieved the minimum of what you wanted to achieve because it's such a small idea and then if you do get it in 12 hours great expand 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 and the best part of that about our procedurally generated game is that obviously we can add more and more and more and more well hopefully this year I'm hoping to get hired into the games industry I'm hoping to be part of QA and actually my plans for this games jam is to be more of a QA orientated position I'm gonna be I'm gonna take all the testing off everyone else uh, you know other people are gonna try it but it's mostly going to be me testing over and over and over again. So I think next year, ideally, I want to be hired in the games industry and then come back and use that knowledge of that kind of, that kind of design methodology that they all use and try and hone you know, both sides of things, the student side and the games industry side, 
and then really trying to apply my skills to to create like a, an actual shippable product next year because the only the only problems that have been set back at the end of every games jam is that the products we haven't been really I mean maybe once we got a shippable something something that was a substantial level that was fun you know if you shot if you shot the boss at the end too many times a huge glitch happened where everyone died you know there was something fun about it so it was it felt shippable but we still held back so next games jam my main my main goal is to create something shippable something we can sell